So not great news this morning. I'm not sure exactly what's wrong, but it's definitely leaking hydraulic fluid from at least the uh, the quick connect couplers, um, but maybe somewhere else because there's hydraulic fluid everywhere. I'll turn this. You can kind of see it dripping from here, from this coupler. Um, and this one, which just doesn't really make sense to me. So I'm not really sure. Because, I mean, I'm glad it wouldn't be one of these lines, but that's really weird that it's leaking a lot. It's, like, dripping all the way out of here and down the frame. Like, it's dripping off down there. I mean, it's all over this attachment, and it was soon or, like, quick. Like, it just happened. So, I'm going to try to see if I can figure this out. I'm just going to try to disconnect these couplers at least and kind of see what happens from there. I'm sure you can hear Bodhi in the, in the distance going crazy. Um, but, yeah, hopefully I can get this figured out. That might be what was causing the leak. It still looks like it's in a little bit, but... I'm just gonna try to clean it up a little bit and then try to make sure, obviously, that it stops leaking. I'm also curious to see the level of the hydraulic fluid after that, because obviously it leaked a decent amount. It's all on these hoses. Um, and I'm a, I don't know, I'm kind of just thinking if it's... I don't know, this might be silly, but if it's under pressure, then... It can kind of be more of a spray function when it's leaking. definitely smell it too, which is actually how I noticed that something was off. I want to go get some more paper towels and then clean it up and see if it's still leaking from here and then just try to reattach. I'm a little bit nervous because last time I disconnected these, I didn't let out the pressure first and so then I couldn't reconnect them and I don't know how you're supposed to do it where you release the pressure. So I might have the same issue, um, which is fine. I know how to fix it, but it's just a pain in the butt to do. But I'm going to go grab some paper towels. The last grapple attached when I rented actually leaked out of here too. Um, it definitely wasn't like this, but it was leaking. I'm maybe thinking that with like some of the trees and branches and stuff, if somebody just kind of like pushed on one of these connections and made it loose or something. So far so good for not seeing any additional leaks. Probably shouldn't be wearing a white sweater for this. <laughs>
don't see any leaks from here. It's definitely a good thing for us, and this is where it comes out. I'm able to screw this nut by hand, so maybe it's just this fitting is loose. Far so good. Hopefully that's all it was. Which that might have been. That might have been what I loosened up when I had to release the pressure last time when I when I connected it. So far so good. Now I'm just gonna check the level of the hydraulic fluid to see how much I lost in that. It's pretty low. It's saying to add hydraulic fluid, um, which I mean, I've been using the machine a lot, but um, yeah, that's crazy. I definitely lost a decent amount of it from that. So I'm going to go get the hydraulic fluid and get that added in. I have extra of this too. I'm gonna put my dang gloves on, keep them on. God, I just made the biggest mess.
Okay, I'm a little above the full line, but oh well, that'll be fine. Clean up my mess. A lot of grease on this side panel. Too warm out here for a sweater today. for this kid and stuff, so I think I'm going to call it a day for this and go get some grease and everything and then get some more work done. Mm -hmm.